Hello friends, welcome to Mind Your Math YouTube channel. This is yours Kona Karin Reddy. Today in this class let us discuss the problems from exercise 8.3. The chapter is comparing quantities that is chapter 8. First problem, calculate the amount and the compound interest on a yeah, rupees 10,800 for 3 years at 12.5% per annum compounded annually. To find out the total amount with compound interest, the formula is A equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of N. We know this. Before using this formula, let us write what is P. So P is principal amount that is rupees 10,800. Then rate of interest R, R is how much? That is 12.5%. This is equal to, let us convert this into improper fraction. This is mixed fraction. Let us convert this into improper fraction. 2 into 12, 24 plus 1, 25. So 25 by 2 percent. Then number of installments, that is the number of years here, why? Because compounded annually. So number of years, that is 3. So n equal to 3. Now let us use the formula. This is equal to P 10,800 times 1 plus R rate of interest is 25 by 2. 25 by 2 divided by 100. We have already divided by so write in the denominator times 100 whole to the power of n n is 3 whole to the power of 3 this is equal to 10800 into 1 plus 25 by 200 or we can cancel this one as 25 times 1 and this is 25 times 4 this is equal to 1 by 2 times 4 is 8 whole cube so this is equal to 10,800 into, this is 8 into 1, 8, plus 1, 9, so 9 by 8, whole cube. So this is equal to 10,800 times 9 by 8 whole cube means 9 by 8 times 9 by 8 times 9 by 8. So this is equal to, we can cancel, so 8 times 1 here, this is 8 times 1 is 8, 2 will be there, 28, 8 times 3 is 24, 4 will be there, 40 means 8 times 5 is 40 and then 0. So we can cross out like this. Then let us cancel with 2. So 2 times 4 and this is 2 times 6 is 12, then 1 will be there, 15, 2 times 7 is 14, 1 will be there, 10, 2 times 5. So we can cancel. So this is equal to, we can write this one as 675 into 9 into 9 into 9 divided by 4 into 8. This is equal to, if we multiply the numerators, we will get 4,92,075. Then divided by 4 into 8 is 32. Now, if you divide the numerator by denominator, we will get rupees 15,377.34. This is the total amount. So, total amount, right? Then, compound interest is compound interest CI equal to total amount A minus principal amount P. So, this is equal to rupees 15,377.34 minus principal amount that is how much rupees 10,800 if you subtract 10,800 from 15,377.34 we will get 4,577.34 or 35 you can take this is the compound interest Let us go to the next problem that is 1B. Rupees 18,000 for two and a half years at 10% per annum compounded annually. So let us write principal amount P equal to rupees 18,000 
then rate of interest r equal to 10 percent per annum we need to compound it annually so r equal to we need to take 10 percent then number of installments that is n equal to two and a half years two and a half this is to be compounded annually so now let us split this time as two years plus one half year if you split like this first let us calculate for two years by using compound interest formula then for the remaining one half year we can use simple interest formula so therefore a equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of n this is the formula let us calculate first for two years so this is equal to p means 18,000 into 1 plus r rate is how much 10 percent divided by 100 whole to the power of n let us take 2 this is equal to 18,000 into 1 plus 0 and 0 gets cancelled 1 by 10 whole square this is equal to 18,000 into this is 10 into 1 10 plus 1 11 so 11 by 10 whole square this is equal to 18,000 into 11 by 10 into 11 by 10 so 0 0 gets cancelled 0 0 gets cancelled this is equal to if we calculate that one we will get rupees 21,780 this 21,780 will be principal amount for the next one half year and we need to use simple interest formula so simple interest for next one half year equal to there is a p r n divided by 100 or we can use p t r by 100 also this is equal to p principal amount is 21,780 rate rate is how much 10 times n just one half year divided by 100 we can cancel 0 0 and this 0 0 this is equal to 2 times 1 we can cancel 2 times 1 0 then 17 means 2 times 8 is 16 then 9 this is equal to rupees 1089 1089 rupees this is simple interest for the last half year so therefore total amount a equal to principal amount 21780 plus interest 1089 this is equal to if we add these two we will get 22869 this is the total amount to be paid after two and a half years then the interest then the interest equal to there is a total amount a minus original amount original principal amount p that is equal to a is how much 22,869 rupees minus rupees the original principal amount is how much 18,000 let us subtract so 22,869 minus 18,000 so this is 9 this is 6 this is 8 12 minus 8 means 4 so this will be equal to rupees 4,869 so the total amount is how much rupees 22869 and the interest compound interest is 4869 let us go to the next problem c rupees 62500 for one and one half years at eight percent per annum compounded half yearly okay right let us write the principal amount p equal to how much rupees 62500 then rate per annum equal to eight percent so therefore rate per half year that will be equal to eight by two which is equal to four percent now number of years equal to one half number of years equal to one and one half but here we need to compound half yearly how many half years will be there in one and one half there will be three half years so therefore 
n equal to number of half years in 1 1 by 2 years that will be equal to 3 now let us use the formula therefore a equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of n this is equal to 62,500 into 1 plus r is how much? 4. 4 is per half year. So, 4 by 100 whole to the power of n. n is 3. So, this is equal to 62,500. We can cancel actually or we can keep that one as 100 into 100 plus 4. 104. So, 104 divided by 100 whole cube. So, that is equal to, we can cancel actually 4 times 25 and this is 4 times 26. So, this is equal to 62,500 into 26 by 25 whole cube. That will be 26 by 25 into 26 by 25 into 26 by 25. This is equal to, if we calculate this one, this is equal to rupees 70,304. This is what we will get. This is the total amount. But what is the compound interest Ci equal to? We can write A minus P. A is the total amount rupees 70,304 minus P. P is how much? 62,000 rupees 62,500. This is equal to, if you subtract, 70,304, 62,500, subtract 4, 0, this is 3 minus 5 means 13 minus 5, that is 8, 9 will be there, 9 minus 2 is 7. So, this will be equal to how much? Rupees 7,804. This is the compound interest. Let us go to the next problem. Rupees 8000 for one year at 9% per annum compounded once again half yearly here. Here principal amount let us write P equal to rupees 8000 for one year at 9% per annum rate that means rate of interest rate per annum equal to that is equal to 9%. So therefore rate per half year that will be equal to half of this one that is 9 by 2 percent. Now time, time equal to how much? One year. In one year how many half years? There will be two half years. Therefore n equal to number of half years in one year that is equal to 2. So, we can use the formula therefore A equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of N. This is the formula. This is equal to P is how much? 8000 times 1 plus R. R rate is 9 by 2 by 100 we have. So, in the denominator we can write times 100 whole to the power of N. N is 2. So, that is equal to 8000 into 1 plus 9 by 200 whole square. This is equal to 8000 into, this is 200 into 1, 200 plus 9. So, 209 by 200 whole square. This is equal to 8000 into 209 by 200 into, again 209 by, we can calculate Two zeros and two zeros can be cancelled. One zero and one zero can be cancelled. Then two times one and this is two times four. Then four times one and this is four times five. This is equal to two not nine into two not nine divided by five. If we calculate this one, we will get rupees eight thousand seven hundred and thirty-six point two. This is the total amount. Therefore, compound interest. Therefore, compound interest equal to A minus P. This is equal to 
ये इज रुपीस एट माइनस पी इज रुपीस एट सो दिस इज इक्वल टू इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट एट थाउजेंड फ्रॉम एट थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट टू वी विल गेट रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट टू दिस इज द कॉम्पाउंड इंटरेस्ट लेटस गो टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड फॉर वन इयर एट एट परसेंट पर एन एम कॉम्पाउंडेड हाफ इयरली दिस इज सेम एज प्रीवियस वन बट द अमाउंट इज चेंज एज टेन Let us write the values. Principal amount P equal to rupees ten thousand. Then rate per annum. Rate of interest per annum. Annum means for one year. That is equal to how much? Eight percent. So therefore, rate per half year. That will be equal to eight by two, which is equal to. Four, so four percent. That is the rate R equal to. Then time, time equal to how much? One year. So therefore, n equal to number of half years in one year. So that will be how many? That is equal to two. There will be two half years in one year. Now therefore, a equal to. The total amount A equal to the formula is P into one plus R by hundred whole to the power of n. This is equal to P. P is how much? Ten thousand into one plus R. Rate is how much? Four. So four by hundred whole to the power of n. N is two. So we can cancel actually four times one, and this is four times twenty-five. So this is equal to ten thousand. Into one plus one by twenty-five. That will be twenty-five times one is twenty-five plus one twenty-six. So twenty-six by twenty-five whole square. This is equal to ten thousand into twenty-six by twenty-five into again twenty-six by twenty-five. We can cancel twenty-five times one, and this is twenty-five times four is hundred. So then zero zero. Now again, 25 times 1 is 25. Then here, 25 times 1 is 25. So 15 will be there. Beside zero, we have that means 150. 25 6 is 150. So this will be equal to 16 into 26 into 26, which is equal to rupees 10,816. This is the total amount. So therefore, compound interest equal to total amount Y minus principal amount P. So total amount is rupees ten thousand eight hundred and sixteen minus P is rupees ten thousand. So that will be equal to rupees eight hundred and sixteen. This is the compound interest. With that, the first problem in exercise eight point three is completed. If you like my explanation please like share comment and before that please subscribe my channel this is your skona karan reddy thank you